Hello students welcome to the 6th chapter of history empowerment of women and other weaker sections subject history standard 9 today's topic is empowerment of women and other weaker sections empowerment means upliftment development or strengthening of women students we will understand about various organization how they have worked for women's upliftment by getting them together and making them understand about their rights and similarly for weaker sections like minority sc st category women had participated extensively in the freedom struggle students now in freedom struggle period many women had come together to participate women have also made important contributions in all fields in the post independence period too that is what we will study in this chapter as also the laws enacted for women and other weaker sections know this number of women per 1000 men students this is the table of years of census and the number of women in that year students kindly find out the reasons why the number of women per 1000 men in the population has been decreasing when we study the condition of women in india we realize that the roots of several of the problems that women face lie in the mentality of men students in india women were always placed or kept inferior to men women were not given equal status or equal rights in indian society even in the 21st century we have not been able to rid ourselves of this male centered mentality students male centered mentality means a male dominated society organization or area of activity is one in which men have most of the power and influence now overcoming this male dominating society women have made their presence fell by sharing equal status for the development of the society in this chapter we are going to focus more on post independence women empowerment so the very first movement after the independence was budan movement started by Vinoba Bhave in 1951 in Telangana
Vinoba Bhave made use of women power in Bhutan movement which he started placing his faith in Mahatma Gandhi's philosophy. Students, Vinoba Bhave followed Gandhiji's ideology and his principles and started a position, a movement all over the country called Budan Movement. Students, the word Budan, Bu means land, Dan means to donate. In short, we can say Budan means land give movement to the landless. After independence, many zamindars, that is feudal landlords, add lots of land under their position. So, the poor people used to go to the land to work and whatever they used to produce were given a part to the zamindars and the rest they used to keep. So, what was the problem here? The people were doing all the hard work but they never used to get full benefit out of it. So, what did Vinoba Bhave did in this moment? He appealed the zamindars to give the land to the farmers. So, the farmers will also able to produce larger margin. And they can free themselves from the debt. Women volunteers carried the message of Bhutan to all parts of India. Women played a significant role in the Telangana peasant armed struggle which challenged the rule of the Nizams and the feudal lords. Students, now... After independence, a part of current Hyderabad, Telangana, Andhra Pradesh and Maharashtra was under the Nizam rule and he was not ready to merge his state with independent India. Now, Telangana peasant armed struggle is a peasant rebellion against the feudal lords of the Telangana region and later of the princely states of Hyderabad. As their region became free from bounded labor, women also found freedom from this torment. Students Bounded labor. Students, bounded labor is a system in which a person provides labor in order to pay off debts. And tournaments means mental and physical suffering. Manifestation of women power that is displaying or presenting of women power. Students, women who have to face the brunt of scarcity of supplies and rising prices gave a show of their strength as an organized entity in 1972. Students, the women faced with the scarcity of commodities like oil, ghee, rava, maida and not only there was a scarcity of all these commodities but also it was very expensive. So, students, 
the women started with an organized movement in 1972 now let us see which movement they started under the leadership of the socialist leader mrinal gore women in mumbai participated in a demonstration which came to be known as the lakni morcha the rolling pin demonstration so students lakni is the rolling pin used to flatten dog festivals time that is during diwali time so students during diwali commodities like oil ghee rava maida become scarce just as diwali was near at hand kerosene had become very expensive so students women came together brandishing means raising their rolling pins and took part in the demonstration this movement met with success and the public got a glimpse of the united power of women so students by this movement the the women got a united power and they were successful chipko movement students now let us discuss what is chipko movement chipko movement started in 1970s was a non violent movement aimed at protection and conservation of trees and forests from being destroyed the name of the chipko movement originated from the word embrace as the villagers used to hug the trees and protect them from wood cutters from cutting them the chipko movement gained momentum under sundarlal bahuguna an activist who spent his whole life persuading and educating the villagers to protest against the destruction of the forests and the himalayan mountains by the government the chipko protest achieved a major victory in 1980 with a 15 years ban on tree felling in the himalayan forest of the state by the order of mrs indira gandhi so students another show of constructive women power was seen during the chipko movement in 1973 trees from the forest in the foothills of the himalayas were to be cut down for commercial purposes commercial means for trading purposes chandi prasad bhat and sundarlal bahuguna had started a movement to prevent this women followed the strategy of holding hands and encircling each tree as their method consisted of protecting 
द ट्रीज बाय एम्ब्रेसिंग इट द मोमेंट केम टू बी नोन एज द चिपको मोमेंट वीमेन टुक पार्ट इन इट इन लार्ज नंबर्स वीमेन हैड अ बिग रोल टू प्ले इन द एग्रीकल्चरल इकोनॉमी ऑफ दिस रीजन gaura devi was the activist who created this awareness among the women with the help of sudesha devi and bachani devi anti liquor movement in 1992 in andhra pradesh a movement was started against the drinking of alcohol it received a good response in other states too students this high consumption of alcohol by the men came as a curse to the women poverty became a by product as most of the income that men received was spent in the consumption of alcohol as time passed the drinking increased in quantity and men started drinking more and more this affected the family as well as the economy women had to face the burden of violence after a certain saturation point the women who suffered this torture decided to come together and go for a mass movement the women's movement in andhra pradesh originated from the anti arak arak means anti liquor movement started by the state's rural women in the 1990s women spoke to other women who faced the torture of drunken abuse and with the support of the district collector and the sarpanch started an anti arak movement another factor that motivated women to start the movement was the death of a number of villagers due to al- consumption of alcohol when the head of the household dies an untimely death due to addiction to alcohol the family faces a serious crisis which affects women the most due to alcoholism they have to deal with extreme sorrow and poverty This movement got the support of the anti arak arak means anti liquor movement in Andhra Pradesh The poor people started getting addicted to alcohol students as a result of a government policy arak dealers set up shop in every town and village the poor laboring people began to get addicted to alcohol the sitama katha was narrated as a part of the program students at the same time a literacy program 
was being run in the villages of the state the sitama katha that is sita's story was narrated as a part of this program this was to create awareness among the people about alcohol and to ban alcohol from the villages so students it was a story about sita who creates awareness among the people of a village and gets alcohol to be banned from the village in 1992 three youth of dubaganta village of nelur district in andhra pradesh drowned in a lake in a state of hin abrasion and died students hin abrasion means drunk too much of alcohol so students in 1992 three youth of dubuganta village of nelu district in andhra pradesh drowned in a lake in a state of too much alcohol and died at this instance the women in the village came together and forced to close the arak shop so students at this instance the women of the village came together and forced the closure of arak shops the report of this news in the local newspapers had its effect on many other villages the movement spread in entire state and then the government took strict action against the sale of alcohol so students the movement spread to the entire state and the government had to adopt a strict policy against the sale of alcohol 